These are the worst injuries I've seen in the whole of my career. What happened to him? I don't know. But they say he saved the world. This must be Evan, and you must be Ja. Big up yourself. Can I come in, please? We've already got two pack and Biggie. Heaven's not ready for another angel. <laughs> Go back to Earth, Ali. Your work there is not yet done. Enough said. <laughs> While I is up here, I couldn't get an extra couple of inches, could I? <laughs> no. Eleven is enough for any man. <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> that is why every week we get sent hundreds of letters. Some of them is photographs. Thank you, Joanne Slaney. I don't think I will ever eat a chunky Kit Kat again. <laughs> but most of them is about realness and about the special gift of how nice life is. In fact, just yesterday, we walked into St. Christopher's Hospital in Chertsey. There, we saw a tiny baby nestling on its mother's chest. It was the most wonderful thing I have ever seen. It was just a shame the baby's head was blocking my view of the full nip. <laughs> me thought about that baby and me worried about his future, cos there is so much badness on the streets. Unfortunately, there will always be crime, because it gives you such a wicked buzz. <laughs> That's why earlier on, me met that copper of Crime Watch to get him to explain to the youth the dangers of weapons. Peace. On your mark, you say go, it's time to roll. I give a head start and make it first, even if I strode alone, explode. Word up. <laughs> the filth, scum, pig, these are some of the terrible things the police is called. Other things include the fuzz and the fuzzy muff. <laughs> but you've got to give the flange respect, because they is keeping the streets safe from the most dangerous weapons. This is Detective Superintendent David Hatcher from the police. He is here to show us some of the terrible weapons that Brothers is using on Brothers every day. Ain't that right? Now, what is this? Right, this is a... Uh, it basically, it's two bits of wood. It's called a, ch a chucker. Sometimes it's called a flail. So where can you get these kind of things from? <laughs> Well, you can't buy them in this country, legally. For real. So which countries can you buy these things from? Uh, I'm not going to advertise where right. they can come from. For real. What has we got in here? Right, this looks like a... This is actually a very small knife, a dagger, that, uh, oh, nice. as you can see... That is an interesting thing. And how much is one of these? <laughs> one? Right. I've no idea. Aye, for real. <laughs> so what about this? Is this well dangerous? That is wicked. What is that? I've never seen that before. What is that? Is that well dangerous if you go like that? And then, like, flick that around. What is that? Dangerous anyway you look at it, isn't it? I mean, it's got a sharp point, it's got a blade. That uh, is mental, it's... man. I ain't never seen any, anything like that. How do you carry that? Like that, or...? 
So, what if you was, let's say, in the kitchen, you was chopping carrots with a machete or something, because you don't have anything, and then the phone ring, and then it slip into your sock, and you don't know, and then you was running to get a bus, and it fall into someone's arm, you know, a couple of times. Is that legal or illegal? You've got a wild imagination. I that means thinking I about would, the law. Would that I'd be legal or illegal? I'd say that's absolutely illegal. No court is going to believe that that sequence of events was really likely to occur. So would this be legal to carry around with you? Because that is... No, because that's designed only for one purpose. Aye, I mean, you, for you, hurting someone. you couldn't convince me that you'd got that with you for anything legal. What if you just said you got it for your packed lunch or something? <laughs> I'd say convince the court, Ali, because I don't believe you. You're coming with me. Ah, where? <laughs> what not? If you like. What do you mean? <laughs> because all right, you'd be all right, you're saying yeah. you're pretending to be in the fit. <laughs> I, was, I didn't understand what you were talking about. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. What kind of excuses do a court believe with knives? If, if it's the truth and if it's reasonable, right. then hopefully the court will believe it. What I'm not going to do is to give you a list of things that I would suggest a court might believe because you could use that excuse For and real. it not really be true. So has you ever come in contact with a criminal who can put in a hand into someone's body and take out their heart and just... <laughs> <like that? laughs> Because they, I know they've seen that in the films and whatever, but they say if he was really trained at Kung Fu or whatever, you can do that. There may be somebody who can. It's Aye. news to me. Aye. So what is you going to be doing with all these weapons afterwards? Well, they'd be taken to a, an iron foundry, they'd all be melted down and destroyed. So would you auction them? <laughs> no. what, what about if it was for charity? Not even for charity. All right, thank you very much, Chief thank Superintendent. You. Big up, respect. Come on. Big it up for DJ The Force when him touched that multi mix fader, him hotter than that girl from Tomb Raider. <laughs> the Force! <laughs> yeah, what, what, what y'all say? Juan, you're not here. Make us go along now. Oh, boy, you watch the force, you study the force and just watch the way my profile pan it. Go on, yeah, yeah, what? Tea mick with boiling water. <laughs> Here's a bomber class squat. <laughs> No, that ain't in it. <laughs> it's Friday night, it's Channel 4. What do you expect to see? Muff. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of complaints that this show is too eyebrow. So I had to cave in and allow a little bit of punani. <laughs> I was well excited to introduce our guest tonight. She is a businesswoman <laughs> called Anita from an establishment called The Body Shop. And I hear she can do amazing things with bananas, carrots, and cucumbers. <laughs> Switch over now to Faint Hearted. Turn over Mary Lighthouse, cos we is gonna have some genuine filth. Brothers and sisters, big it up for Anita Rodlick. <laughs> No offence, but you look a little bit like a hippie. Is he one? Yeah. Ain't it a bit hypocritical being a hippie and selling soap? No. <laughs> it is the best. It's the best. Can I, I'm trying to sit like you. you Don't sit like me. There's a reason my legs are so far <laughs> apart. <laughs> it ain't physically possible to get them any closer. <laughs> so, let me get this right. You go out to these third world countries, and you bring back some of their produce. Me know a few people who do that, all right? <laughs> Bet you do. <laughs> what technique do you use to get it past customs? Does you <laughs> swallow it in a codney or do you stick it up your back? No, you can, no, 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 no. Your dad's 
old-fashioned. You've got to look really straight. You have uh, your hair back in a bun. You look, you dress with high heels. Oh, no, they'd never believe me no, if I said that. No, they wouldn't believe you. No. <laughs> But it must be wicked being there, what? Because they're all so poor that they'll do anything for, like, 2p. You just go, yeah, is 2p, dance like a bear, is 2p, lick the shoes, yeah, you do that. Well, what they want, which you'd be very happy, they want coffee, they want anything that's addictive. Aye, uh, for real, well, I could sort them now, out. Now, you'd be real. <laughs> <laughs> I would go out there. Right. That is a new untucked well, market. Yeah, it is. Now, you do a lot of campaigning out there to make their lives better. Is that true? I hope. Do you dream that one day every village will have a McDonald's? <laughs> I would... I cannot think of anything more disgusting. I just heard a terrible story that in some countries there's only got Wimpy out there. <laughs> <laughs> what is the greenhouse effect? It's the greenhouse effect. It's like everything just bl exploding. We went swimming in Brighton, me and my mates, when we was really mashed. Yeah. And it made Dave swallowed a bit of plop. Is that it because is. of the greenhouse? Oh, that, that is terrible. That is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> however, however... Aye. Don't knock faeces. <laughs> I've got this special perfume for you. He's going to bring out a shite. Yeah. Please don't do that. I don't want anyone cucking on my <laughs> show. I don't care how big a businesswoman yeah, is. It's always going on, always going on about skunk. So I got you made sexy skunk. And it has sweaty armpits, it has leather, it has tobacco. It's sort of intimations of a Basically it smell like my Julie. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> got enough of that already. Right. Now, so that's sexy skunk. Would you ever sell cloves? Yeah. Would they be made of natural fibres? They should be. Should be organic fibres, hemp, um, flax. They should be. For real, because me cloves is also made of natural fibres. Like... This is made out of an animal called a acrylic. <laughs> <laughs> it lives in Taiwan. In fact, over 20 acrylics was used to make me pants. <laughs> Is you against animal testing? I am, definitely. Would you still be against animal testing if it was a product for animals? I don't think I have a right. No, I think I would, yeah. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of nicking some stuff from your shop. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my God. Now, first up, here we go, cleansing milk. What's this? <laughs> now, me Julie don't believe in this bottled face cream. She doesn't. Me knock her up some fresh stuff every day. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I tell you, I tell you, it has cleared up me Julie spots on both sets of her cheeks. <laughs> Would you? you? You're absolutely, you know, you're absolutely right. For real? We have had submissions over the years. Pre I'm, I'm I will give you a submission no, no, letter. No, no. <laughs> we have had letters, we have had serious statements, serious letters from people saying that the protein in semen actually works. Would you ever consider bottling? No. Mr. <laughs> It's totally natural, and no animals has been armed making yeah. it, <laughs> apart from me own beast. I think I'd give that one a miss. Give that one a miss. Well, you'd have to be pretty fast to give it a miss. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Big up, I need a run lit. Big up yourself. <laughs> Represent. Doctors, they are the most powerful people in the world. They can give life, they can cure disease, and they can ask to see a woman's <laughs> without, <laughs> without getting slapped. <laughs> but with power come responsibility. <laughs> That's why earlier on, we had a discussion with the country's top experts on medical ethics. 
West Side. <laughs> Is plastic surgery a good thing? It's, it, it's a good thing when you can say you are correcting a disease. I has heard this rumour, and it's probably rubbish, that some girls actually ask to get their tombolas made smaller. <laughs> is that true? Well, sometimes, yes, because some women have problems with their back. But do you think it can ever be morally right to have a breast reduction? Well, I think it can if there is a genuine problem. So how do doctors decide who gets the plastic? Do they sit around and go, she's seriously minging, she can get the plastic? Or do they go, she's only a bit rough, she don't need the plastic, just go and bag it? You have to make your judgement from seeing the patient, from listening to them, from finding out what really the problems are and what possible solutions there are. Wouldn't it be great if we had the technology to make sure that everyone was black? Or is that just a dream? No, I couldn't. Or ain't that a bit racialist? I think... Um, no, I don't think That's it is. That's a bit racialist, I isn't it? I think it's a bit racialist. Speak to the ant, cos the head ain't listening. I think it's a bit racialist to suggest that it would be a good thing for everybody to be black. You see, your point was very interesting. You said, why black. shouldn't everybody be black? But that's because you happen to be black. And you no. say, I want people to be like me. Is it right to donate organs? Absolutely, it's a gift culture. Do you think if you was having an heart transplant, it's right for you to meet the person first? If you have a heart transplant, the person's dead. <laughs> With transplant, when does it stop being you? When I say you, I mean... I don't mean you. I mean, like, you know, if, I'd, if you had transplant which I don't know if you was at or if you ain't. You know what I'm saying when I say you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's change the subject a bit. Let's talk about doctors who is ending the lives of people who is old and suffering. Do you think that that is right? They set up a committee of the good and the great, the House of Lords. Two years they spent looking at the issue. In the end, all 12 say no law for euthanasia. But what has it got to do with the euthanasia? I mean, it ain't there <laughs> that these people are dying. There's thousands of miles away. Euthanasia means mercy killing. It literally means dying well. We're not talking but about why is the euthanasia of the youth in Africa. But Asian kids or it's, it's not Asian kids. Do you think it's ever right to switch off the life support machine? Ah, it can be, yes, because the life support machine... Is a, is a, well, if you like, it's what used to be described as an extraordinary means of keeping somebody alive. It's not basic care. So should you say you has got two weeks to get better? If you don't, we is using that plug for the telly. <laughs> Check it. Now it's time for the last ever Bora. Realise. <laughs> I come to Henley Regato, where old English gentlemen look at young muscly boy in a boat shaped like a man's hum. This is the most special event of summer season. I come to find why. Yakshimash. <laughs> what is Henley Regatta? Henley Regatta is an international regatta that was founded about 160 years ago. And uh, is there a woman in the club? Yes, yes. There can be, not as members. Oh, yes. But they are fantastic in a kitchen. In a, yes. in a bed, yes. but in a, a sport is... The, in the sport, they learn, so they learn self-control. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, what do you mean? Yes. Uh, they become very athletic, very, yes. very attractive to yes. Western Ah, men. because yes. they become strong. Not, not so strong, but... But live and flexible. It's nice, and this is these beautiful. Are, these are badge. the badges that are given what out. What does by it the mean? This Lats Leander Club. And there is a pig. Yes. A pig on it's a, this. It's a hippopotamus. 
What is hippopotamus? Hippopotamus. It's an animal in Africa that swims in the water. A fish? No. Dig in the water. A hippo. You joke quickly. This is English humor. This is not a English pig humor. In this the is water. true. Yes, a hippo. A pig who drinks water. I'm sure, yes. It a swims, pig who drink. swims in the water. Who lives in the water? It's pig size. Bigger. And will we see this pig in the water? No, you won't. You'll see the boats belonging to the club yes. that has pigs on yes. its badge. Yes. They have a pig on yeah. the, in the boat. They have a, a little symbol on the boat with a pig. There's a pig. And the, why do they carry the pig in the boat? They don't carry, they carry the symbol of it. Yeah. You know, a little picture, like, like your badge. Yes. Yeah. And why do they show a picture because of a Because that's, their, the, that's their symbol. I don't know why. And why they choose a pig? Because in, in Kazakhstan we see a pig as a dirty animal. Well, you see, it's not actually a pig, it's a hippo. Yeah. But... <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. We here have English tea. That's right, yes, we've had our sandwiches. How many times have you been doing this? This is my first time. Oh, right. And you're enjoying it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Everyone says that uh, it, it rained down like, a, how you say, a Cats piss. Yes. Yeah, we don't say that. You have wonderful moustache. I've had that for a very long time. Mine is nothing compared no, no, to your moustache. It just take, takes time. Your moustache is beautiful. I'm very jealous. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. May I ask, you are a man who does with another man? No. Yes. Definitely not. This is a very big national uh, race between these uh, two local rivals. Yes. You back Bucks and I back Burks, right? I back Bucks. And I back Burks. You back Bucks. Come on, the Bucks. You say, come on, Bucks. Come on, Bucks. Come on, Bucks. Come on, the box. Come on, the box. Yes, there they are. Coming down there now. Move the f... Yes. Move the box. Move, move the box. Move the fuck. Come on, the box. Come on, the fucking box. This is a swell one. So I have learned a lot about Henry. I have had the best day of my life. Yakshima. Selector. Parents. If your teenage kids is suddenly lost a lot of weight, is looking very pasty, having mood swings and spending a lot of their time locked in their rooms, then they is almost certainly into indie music. <laughs> in my final bid to sort out this evil, me is invited on a man who has got it worse than most. Take one look at him and see how bad the effects can be. You will be scared, cause it's Jarvis Cocker. The show ain't finished yet. The cleaners come on after we's finished. <laughs> we, we's waiting for a big pop star. Can you piss off, please? It's me. Come off it. You look like a kiddie fiddler. <laughs> now, I first heard of you at the Brit Awards when you went on stage and tried to bum Michael Jackson. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> That's not quite what happened. But no matter how into his music you is, you should never actually try and bum him. <laughs> Would you like it if someone came up to you now while you was on stage and tried to bum you here? <laughs> actually, don't answer that. <laughs> now, your new album is called This Is Hardcore. Me bought it, invited around a couple of me mates, and <laughs> trust me, it ain't hardcore. <laughs> they got well eggy and me had to stick on shaving Private Ryan instead. 
sorry. So, Jarvis, which track would you like me to help you out with today? Uh, well, I thought we could do a song called Help the Aged. Aye, uh, for real. The man, none other than Jarvis. Big him up. Let's take it to the thing. <laughs> Big it up for Jarvis Cocker India. Drinking, smoking, sex and sniff and glue Help the agent Help the motherfucking agent <laughs> Don't just put them in a hole Don't put them in a mofo hole <laughs> Can't have much fun in there or on their own is 63, her name be Sheila She always on the phone to a motherfucking dealer She rock the ghetto style, she always wear feeler She still get jiggy in her boyfriend's freewheeler Said OAP, yeah, you know me Me said OAP, yeah, you know me Me said OAP, yeah, you know me Me said O, A, and the double P, yo Me nan can't live on a little pension she smoked the herb just to ease the tension. She got a leak in a place I won't mention. The NHS call it water retention. Bim Bima, who stole me Nan Zima? Bim Bima, who stole me Nan Zima? Bim Bima, who stole me Nan Zima? It don't matter now, she's free stone slimmer. West side in the out. Cause one day we were just like you. Keep off the crack, keep off the crack. Respect your nan <laughs> Cause one day you'll be Shake your body, boys Shake your body 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 The famous body Shake the body It's the end of my series, and we want to leave you with one final thought. There is millions of different types of people out there, but it is important never to forget where you come from, because black, white, brown, or Pakistani, <laughs> we all come from the same place, the Punani. <laughs> that where me come from, and that is the place that we like to visit as often as we can. <laughs> Jobless and keep it real. <laughs>